everybody it is veronica here from bodies by bb your fitness coach your holistic nutritionist and lifestyle coach okay so today we're going to talk about a topic that is very confused and most people don't do this right and it's called a fasted exercise so should you be doing fasted exercise well there could be an answer of yes and no to this and let's like first talk about what is fasted exercise? So fasted exercise means that you are exercising in a fasted state, meaning that you have not eaten for the past six to eight hours or even more. That is true fasting. There is half fasting where people say, well, four hours, you know, not eating is considered fasting. That's kind of like a half fast. It's usually between six to eight hours. So that's literally what it means is you're exercising in a non-food presence that is in your bloodstream. Okay, so when is the best time to do a fasted exercise? Well, when you're looking at fat loss, the best time to do a fasted exercise is really first thing in the morning. And the reason why is because, well, you haven't eaten anything, right? Um, you can definitely have black coffee, you know, something like that, um, that would help. You can even go as far as, you know, maybe having half a protein scoop with water if you're really, really hungry and you still want to get those benefits of um, the fat loss in a fasted state. You can do that. It won't totally break you out of a fasted state, but um, it would still do the trick. So you want to do fasted cardio first thing in the morning and you can do either 20 minutes of high intensity training that is really the cutoff mark, nothing more because then if you do more, you're going to start you know, your, your body's gonna realize like you're under a lot of stress and it's gonna start to use your muscle as fuel, right? We wanna use fat as fuel and store sugar in your body as fuel, right? Um, or you can do steady state. So if you like something a little bit slower, a little bit longer, you can do steady state, 20 minutes or more. So just being able to walk and talk, right? On the treadmill or in the Stairmaster, nothing heavy, right? Um, so, but you're still, you know, you're feeling the heat, but it's not like, oh my God, I can't talk like high intensity. So that's really good. You can also do it when you're doing like light yoga or really light weightlifting, like conditioning kind of thing. But again, not longer than maybe 30 minutes um, when you're doing stretching or morning walks. That's the best time to do fasted cardio. Um, who do I not recommend um, fasted state exercise? It's those people who are trying to build muscle. So if you're trying to build muscle, you need to have fuel in your body because you're lifting heavy, you're lifting compound movements, and your body really does require the food for that, specifically carbohydrates, right, with a little bit of protein. Now, if you have been fasting exercise for a really long period of time and you're building muscle, then great. Keep doing what you're doing, but I'm talking about the average person. They just work out better with food in their system. They're able to lift heavier. Their intensity level is so much higher and they're able to withhold the reps and sets way longer than a fasted state. So that's the only time I don't recommend fasted exercise. So does fasted cardio really help? It's the last question, right? And for most people, yes, as long as you do it right. Like I said before, if you're doing high intensity training, no more than 20 minutes. If you're doing steady state, 30 minutes or more, right? That's the golden rule. And it does help you because again, like I said, you are using stored fat, right? And circulating sugars in your bloodstream, right? From usually the night before, or even stored sugar as the main source of fuel when you're exercising. And that is it, you guys, there is your answer. It is a yes and no answer towards fasted exercise. Hope you enjoyed this clip and I'll see you again.